using 802.1x, which is an engineering specification for how to filter based on um, the identifier of um, a, a, an electric thing, basically. So is 802.1x an actual physics-based IDS? And um, should I have realized that? Yeah, but you have to understand, I never learned about 802.1x in school. I learned about it um, on cyberary.it. And um, I never fully thought about 802.1x, which is like an accepted parameter in the engineering community. And everyone's agreed that this is how the, the electricity should go through the wire. And this is a way to block the electricity from going through the wire. So um, can you do duplicate MAC addresses? Yeah. Uh, but you can you can copy someone's MAC address, but um, when you, when you do that, um, like like when you take their MAC address and make it yours, you're detectable on the network. So um, I think that IT is not as complicated as it sounds, especially once you start thinking about like the physical layer. And um, I do understand that it's kind of like. Like, but a USB is the physical layer because it's where you're outside of WPA2's encryption. All right, so now I caught someone that's like a really, really like, okay, I deal with the best hackers in the world and they had to mess up my website so that I, I can't do MAC address filtering. And... I don't fully understand their limitations within my administrator access to my router, but I, I'm sure they have limitations. And that especially happens where layer two meets layer layer one, but I'm sure that like when you, you can put it in layer three and have layer two and layer three, and you don't fully understand that a router has layer two and layer three because it has to be able to have some sort of engineering specification for the binary and that is 802.1x. All right. So I, I really, I feel like you don't know about cybersecurity. You know everything about cybersecurity and then you realize you don't know about cybersecurity until you read a guy's book who is an engineer and he goes, okay, you tend to want to go lower in the OSI model. And then once you start thinking about MAC address filtering on layer two and what it means to be an IEEE, um, like what is it called, a specification, then it's like, all right, I get it. All right. So, what do I do now that I like I, I, I feel like sometimes you let people in. You're like, all right, I accept you on my network, and I feel like I thought that more people were on my network. Um. And I'm kind of like, I don't really worry about it. I mean, I'm okay with it. But uh, I should be more concerned about it because isn't that how I end up getting murdered? All right. But then I always think you can hack me wirelessly and I'm like, you can't? It's that, like the those companies are that good. But it really, I, I feel like the reason VPNs are good is because you're trying to get outside of your area and like, that's why people hate VPNs, but I can't get, what am I going to do? I mean, I can go to another country. It's like, all right, should I, uh, probably not. Um, but maybe I want to go to a different location in my country and then you'll drive people nuts. But when people, when you're, when you're so consistent, it's like, all right, do I really, really care about a VPN? Um, especially because I'm not worried about man in the middle attacks, but, um, I feel like I should be wor more worried about man in the middle attacks. Um, but I'm not, that's why I like virtual machines, but, um, I, I still, I still, it's, it's hard to explain how confused I still am about how <laughs> all security, but then I know one thing, layer two is a bitch. All right, that's it.